solve the given initial value problem. So you're given in a system in terms of a vector x prime in a initial condition. So first you need to find a minus lambda i. Okay, and then find the determinant of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go across the I'm gonna go across the row. So one minus lambda times two minus lambda times one minus lambda minus zero minus one times zero plus four times zero minus two minus lambda times one. Okay, distribute this out and then simplify down. You will get this factors set it equal to zero and then solve for lambda. I got lambda equals two negative one three. So here's my eigenvalues, in which each eigenvalue I will get an eigenvector for it. So let's see what those are. Plug in lambda equal to into this matrix. That gives you this matrix augmented with zero. Okay. All right. So you can reduce it down to this matrix. So you don't have to reduce it all the way down to the base matrix. So few matrix is okay because the goal is to solve for the unknown. So if I use this, so from this matrix, I see that they have two unknowns. So from the third equations, I have two k two plus three k three equals zero. Then k solve for either one, k two or k three. I solve. I solved for k three, which is negative two third k two. And then from the first equation, I have negative k one plus k two plus four k three equals zero. And since I k three, and I solve for k one, which is k two plus four k three. Now, if I choose k2 equals 3 then k3 equals negative 2 k1 equals negative 5 you can choose whatever value for k2 is up to you as long as it's not 0 then my vector k1 is negative 5 3 and negative 2 now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals negative 1 plug it into this one then that gives you this matrix right here augmented with 0 all right all right now so look at this equation second equation you see that you very quickly you know that k2 equals 0 right and from the third equation you have k1 plus k2 plus 2 k3 equals 0 and since k2 is 0 then you have k1 solve for k1 you have k1 equals negative 2 k3 if I choose k3 equals 1 then k1 is negative 2 then my vector k2 is negative 2 0 1 now you are going to repeat this process one more time for lambda equals 3 look it into the a minus, uh, a minus lambda i you will get this matrix Augmented with zero again. This is similar to the mat this matrix above. So second equation gives you k two equals zero. Third equation gives you k one equals two k three. Now if I choose k three equals one, then k one is two. Then vector k three is two zero one. Now it's time to write our final or our general solution. So since you have two uh, three distinct eigenvalues, your final solution will be given in this form: x vector x equals c one k one, which is this e to the lambda 1t which is e to the 2t plus k2 uh, c2 times k2 is this e to the lambda 2t which is e to the negative t now plus c3 k3 which is this e to the lambda 3t which is e to the 3t okay so you are not done yet because you are given the condition so you have to solve for c1 c2 and c3 okay how well because you are given vector x of 0 equals 1 vector 1 3 0 so plug in 0 for t if I do that I will have c1 times this times 0 because at uh, time 1 because e to the 0 which is 1 okay similarly you have c2 this vector and e to the 0 c3 this vector and e to the 0 and that equal to 1 3 0 okay now as uh, you can see, imagine C1, C2, C3 is your, like your X1, X, Y, Z. So if I put it into a matrix and augment it with 1, 3, 0, solve for this matrix, I will get C. Solve for this matrix, I will get C1, C2, C3. Basically, so it's like you have a uh, negative 5X minus 2Y minus two y plus 2Z equals 1, 3X plus 0Y plus 0Z equals 3, negative 2x plus y plus z equals 0 then you put it into a matrix solve for the uh, announce okay okay similar like that okay then after I found out c1 c2 c3 look back in look back in here and then replace c1 c2 c3 that gives me this final answer okay 
So if, uh, what is written in red is your final answer. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.